so that's what we're doing. We're getting ready to take the camper on a ferry to go across Lake Erie to camp at Kelly's Island for the weekend, or for a long week, actually, five days. So this is our first time taking the camper on the ferry, so. We'll see if we sink it. <sighs> Don't say that. <laughs> so we are passing over Sandusky Bay to go catch the ferry, and you can't see anything out here because it's just all smoke. First in line to get on the ferry. There we go. She's getting on the ferry, y'all. I'm really surprised that they had you do it. They let you drive it on. They could tell just from the look of me that I got mad driving skills. And the kids that are working the boat look like they're 14 years old. <laughs> and I don't want them, any of them driving my truck. Hey guys, we can do a roof inspection while we're on the uh, ferry. Looks pretty good. So you can kind of see how thick the smoke is when you get up to the blue sky where the sun's coming through. The smoke is legit out here. Super excited guys. The boat is docking. We're back in the truck. How far is the campground from the boat dock? Uh, 1.9 miles. Oh, okay. So we should get there quick. Hopefully we have a decent sight. We'll check back with you. Stay tuned. A map if you have one please. It's gonna be this spot on your left just past that red truck. So we just got backed in to our site. We'll show you around later. It's time to get to work but I'm so excited. I get this feeling every single time we go camping. As soon as we pull in I don't know what it is. It's just I know it's gonna be great. We're here for six days so much longer than what we're usually here for. Great. And guess whose birthday it is? It is not my birthday. It's always your birthday. It's his birthday, but you know what he told me today? No, yesterday. He said, birthdays are for kids and women. That's not, I'll take back that bottle of Blanton's I got you for your birthday then. No, just a present. <laughs> Gotta get busy. Gotta get everything put together so I can get back outside. All right, so we are all officially set up up here on Kelly's Island. We're in site 105. Um, they're not super huge sites, but I'll give you the grand tour around so you can kind of see what we got. All right, guys, so here is site 105. It is 50 amp, 30 amp option. Um, there's not a whole lot of space to play with. They're a 30 footer. We gotta kind of sneak in the driveway sideways here. Come around to the back here. Got a little bit of space between us and the fellow behind us. But then we have this really nice little tree lawn over here. Shelly Kay's got her lights put up. Red's chasing after the bumblebees like the door key is. Picnic table, got the Blackstone set up. Fire pit and the chairs. So enough room for the two of us. But uh, all in all, pretty nice little site. You can see the water over there through the other sites, but we do not have a water site. So this is it until July the 4th. Hi guys, today is Michael's birthday and I'm gonna make a spicy watermelon margarita um, for cocktails with the Confers. So the first thing that I did was I uh, blended up watermelon to get four ounces of watermelon juice. You always have this that way, Michael. Okay, but sh the show must go on, okay? Um, then we are going to need one and a half ounces of lime. And let me say that I'm doing this as a double. I always do double. 
and one or uh, one ounce of orange juice and then we need three ounces of tequila um, I'm using a reposado but I don't think that it matters all that much three ounces of tequila this is a two ounce glass just so you know and then we need one teaspoon of simple syrup And then we put in the secret ingredient of jalapeno. And that was just like probably equivalent to a thinly sliced, like quarter inch thick. So shake it. I already prepped my um, glasses here. You know, these martini glasses that I love. Also, double as a margarita glass. How about that? Um, I rimmed this one with tahini. Michael doesn't like the tahini, so. And then, um, the longer the jalapeno sits in the margarita, the spicier it'll get. So, I'm gonna have him taste his the way that it is now, and if he would like it a little spicier, then I'll just take a piece and put it in the glass. So, Michael, see what you think. Cheers. Cheers. I'll give it a solid man. Really? Yeah. Wow. What's the mad part? Because I think it's delicious. It's just not super watermelony flavory, and it's not spicy at all. So it's not what I expected. Not all right, guys, steak night. Shelly's vegetables. I get the mushrooms, the taters. It's gonna be real good. You call them my vegetables. I'll eat the mushrooms. So, Shelly Kay, what you think of supper? It was delicious. It was very, very good. It was like high-end restaurant good. It was really good. Mm -hmm. I mean, I did get a prime ribeye. Can't go wrong with prime. So I paid a little extra, but you know, that would have been $100 just in the state instead of restaurant. Oh, for sure. And it would have been one of those fancy ones where it's a la carte everything. <laughs> right. Just saying. You have the skills on the grill. You know it. So we're gonna go for a walk around this here park and go see if we can see a sunset. We're not gonna see a sunset, but I don't know. Try. if the smoke oh. might give us a little bit of a pretty sunset. I, don't I can know. see a boat out there. Oh look, they have a fish cleaning hut. There you go. Oh there's there's a beach anyway. Yeah. So that looks like some rental cabins right here mm -hmm. in the campground. Right there looks like the camper's beach swimming area. Mm -hmm. There's some people out there on that point fishing. Got ourselves a sailboat out there. One coming in. It's pretty it's smoky. smoky. Yeah, you can smell the smoke. I mean, you're in a campground, so you're used to smelling smoke, but... That's a different smoke, though. Yeah. Good morning, everybody. It's about 6.15 or so in the morning. I am meeting up with a friend of mine out here at one of the docks. He's bringing his boat over. We're gonna head out on Lake Erie for a day of fishing. And uh, we will see if I can catch anything. But for those of you that know me, you know I can fish all day, but rarely do I ever catch, so. Hopefully I don't pass my curse off onto, uh, onto my buddy. So, so we'll see what the day brings. Stick around with us and we'll let you know if we catch anything.
All right, guys, happy Friday. So, oh, you're wearing that. I, didn't I am. Think, I, I didn't realize what day it was. Let's see. Make so sure. we are in downtown on Kelly's Island. Yeah. I think that was what they would call it, it was downtown. We're gonna stop over here at, what's the name of this place? Dockers. Dockers and get some supper and maybe a cocktail. Yep, they have live music tonight, so that's why we chose this location. There you go, that's it. <laughs> See how it is. Alright guys, next stop for the evening, we are at West Bay, still on Kelly's Island. Yep. So we've heard that this is the hot spot, the best place to come and see the sunset. So you can see the bar restaurant behind us, but if we do like this. You got the lake behind us. Wait. It's back there. Oh, okay. You it's just can't. foggy. Oh, yeah, it's just really can't smoky. See. Yeah. Where's the sun? Yeah, up inside the smoke somewhere. So the lake is back there. Right. So, so we'll see how it's going to be. And I guess they set off a cannon at sunset every night. And tonight the sunset is 9:09. .09, so we'll see if we make it that long. It's still kind of smoky, so I don't know how good it's going to be. But we're going to try. We'll try. Some guy gave leftover steak to and the bacon. dogs and bacon. Oh, oh! Now Dingo now got up. She up. didn't even get up. She just splutted and ate the food. They're gonna eat the plate. That was nice of him. Dang steak! We should have said you'll take the leftover right. steak. <laughs> Not much of a sunset. <laughs> All right, good morning, everyone. Got coffee here. Sheila's giving me that dirty look because it's early in the morning. Because he jumped in the bathroom and I was going to go in there to get ready. Doesn't have her hairs done yet. So it's Saturday morning here on Kelly's Island. We're going to run down into town. We've got a few work things to knock out real quick. And then I think we're going to go on some hikes today. Go walk around the island. Maybe bike around the island. See what it all it has to offer. The last couple days have been work and work. Fishing. So, and fishing. So we're gonna go check out the island, take you guys along with us. Say good morning, Shelly Kay. Good morning. Say good morning, Shelly Kay. Good morning. <laughs> so let's go get this party started. So humid out. I just walked outside and my glasses are fogging up. So uh, might be a sweaty day. So we'll see how it goes. All right, guys. So we are off on the bicycles, heading to one of the the Horseshoe Trail in the Quarry. The Horseshoe Trail in the Quarry. And maybe swing by the Glacier Grooves. Maybe. And the winery. And of course, the winery. Yeah. And the Mexican place. And the Mexican restaurant. And Shelly Kay wants to stop and buy some wares, as she calls them. So, sounds like we're doing some shopping today, too. So, stick around with us and we'll show you what we find. Alright, guys, so we rode our bikes down the road and we came across the East Quarry Trail. So we're gonna hike out through there for a half a mile or so, maybe three quarters of a mile, but it's not a loop. So we're gonna turn around and come back because we got a lot of stuff to hit today. Yep, I know it's gonna go around this uh, Horseshoe Lake. Can't see that, but right here on the map. Right there. And there's a boardwalk, I think, so. Yeah. We're gonna check it out. Yeah. Because that's what we always say, check it out. Check it out. Check but I'll put a picture of the map up here so you can kind of see what we're doing. So 
very shortly once you come in the trail. You get your first overlook, so it kind of pays off pretty quick. And I don't know if you can see the other people on the other side hiking around. Look at Shelly Kate getting brave up here on the rocks. But you get a pretty decent view as soon as you get started. It almost looks like a wasteland. I think this is the old quarry. Yeah. Sorry about the wind. But I think this is the horseshoe lake. And that grassy stuff in the middle is what makes it a horseshoe. Pretty quick payoff for a few. Oh yeah, all the shale. Or I think this was lime, right? Is that what they were uh, they were mining out here? Was the lime? Is what we read the other day. It was like the leading provider of lime in the nation came well, from here. It was here. in the world. Was it in the world? It was, but was it limestone? I don't think it was limestone. I think it was lime. Lime. What I do. I gotta say. The views are pretty nice, and the water's really clear. Yeah, it's, it's hard to tell today because it's so overcast. I mean, it's just gloomy, but when you can actually see the water. Yeah, you can see right down through yeah, it. Yeah, if it was sunny, it would be really cool. Again, the state parks have the trails mapped really nice. At all the intersections, they have the little uh, the little maps up with whichever letter intersection you're at. So we're, we're still almost turned the wrong way though. Almost, but that's just par for the course for us. So we're gonna walk down here and do a little square. It looks like it's fairly short on the map and work our way back around to the Horseshoe Lake. I swear this entire island is like you're in an aviary yeah, there's tons of birds. I haven't been pooped on though, so that's good. Yet. It's still early. One thing that I've noticed here um, on the island, every uh, trail that we've been on, the markers all have trash bags tied to them. So that's really nice. I feel like that's the first park that I've been to that, that has done that. Yeah, seen, and like, we haven't had to pick up any trash. No, no, it's very nice. Mm -hmm. So we appreciate you, Kelly's Island State Park. All right, so we're walking out through our trail and uh, we come across Kelly's Island Airport. Right there is the landing strip. See a plane sitting up there? How neat is that? So assuming that we're on the right trail, it's kind of weird that you're like right out at the end of the landing strip. Hey, there you are. You're, you just kind of walk on the trail right at the end of the landing strip. That's pretty cool. Too bad there wasn't a little plane coming in. That would have been some uh, something cool to catch. Wow, look at the size of that one. Dang, look, it's almost as big as my head. All right, blow on it. Okay, so this. Gotta make gotta a wish. I gotta get a wish. Biggins. Okay. This is interesting. Let's go see if we can find the hairy beard tongue. You ever heard of that? Never heard of it before. If any of you guys have heard of it, comment below. Let's go see if we can find one. Hairy beard tongue. Okay. Ooh, I'm not kissing that. <laughs> All right, what intersection are we at now, dear? Well, you, you know us. We were supposed to be going to J and then up to N and over to O. Okay, well, you know where we're at? Pee. You gotta go pee. I don't even know how we ended up here. We clearly missed a turn. Clearly. The good news is, this is the road. We can see the road. We know we have to go back this way and then back the whole loop to the beginning. Go That's figure. us. There you go. That's what we do. That's why no one wants to go hiking with us. <laughs> it's always an adventure though. Well, it gives you the opportunity to find a true hairy beard tongue. All right, so we just finished up here at Horseshoe Lake. Nice, easy little hike. Um, well manicured, 
we did take a wrong turn, but that's just classic us. Um, we not, might have spent, what, an hour back there? Yeah. Just not, walking around? Not many people on the trail. I'm, I'm surprised. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a nice little trail. Go up to uh, take a wrong turn, go up and check out the airport. It's pretty cool. And the field of wildflowers. Gosh, yeah. so we never did find a bearded tongue dragon Something. thing. But, uh, but yeah, we're going to head on into town and no, see we're going what's to next. Winery. Oh, winery. Stay tuned. Go figure. Our next stop so we are stopping before we go have wine you should really eat so right next to the winery is key cantina so we're gonna try out this mexican place k-i key kelly's island get it oh uh, kelly's island cantina got it yeah. you're so smart but it's definitely a happening place golf carts and bicycles everywhere yeah it's hopping for sure it's hopping for sure <laughs> oh, they got goats. We're in trouble now. He's just chilling. Little goat. And then here's the hen house. Oh, look. Mother hen's in the hen house. <laughs> so Michael went inside to order food on this side. And then we're gonna get drinks over there. So you have to actually go in two separate doors to get food or drinks. They have a lot of different margarita options. I mean, the list is huge. And same thing with different varieties of tacos. So hopefully it's delicious. I'm looking forward to it. I think that I'm going to get the Coladarita, which is like a uh, tequila, pineapple juice, coconut puree. Let's see how it is. Okay, so I chose queso and pico de gallo for our two salsas. Okay, there were other, op what were the other options? Just a regular salsa, like a lime salsa, okay. corn salsa. They have like mango, mango habanero, something, something that's common. Yeah, they had a bunch of different ones. Okay. But I did the queso on a purpose, and then the pico is what I chose out of all the others. Okay. And this, uh, a lot of Rita looks good. I have the toasted coconut rim. I did not, not get the toasted coconut rim. How is it? I like the toasted coconut rim. What time you know what is time it? it is? Mm -mm. Lunchtime. Mm -hmm. There's a chicken. Look? There's a chorizo. There's a chorizo. There's cheese all over everything. I'll be back with the other. All right, so we just finished up lunch at the Mexican place at Key K.I. K.I. Kelly's Island Cantina. Yes, Kelly's Island Cantina. So, food. Presentation? Maybe a five. They look sloppy and yuck and flavor. It was very good. Ten. It the was really good. good. One thing you need to know is there's no indoor seating, so it's all outdoor. So you don't want to pick a bad weather day to head over there. Right. As a matter of fact, it's starting to rain right now. That's yeah, just a little sprinkle. And I hope that's not, we got to get back on our bikes. We decided that we wanted to go back to the camper to check on the dogs instead of going straight to the winery. So... Tomorrow is another day. We just met some new friends. Oh, yeah. Dan um, and Ed and Brooke. Dan, Ed and Brooke. So Dan has volunteered to be our uh, destination consultant. Content liaison. Yes, content liaison. That's what he was going to call himself. Because he's got the skinny on a lot of really cool, yeah. unknown spots all over the country. Yeah. So we're going to be in touch with him hopefully sometime soon and uh, find out on... Well, I'm not going to tell you where our next trip is yet, but we have another trip planned and he's going to give us a little bit of skinny on some sweet spots to go to. All right, guys, so we're driving down the road and we come across a sign for the Hurden Art Gallery and Sculpture Garden. So we swung through. We're going to uh, take a drive around or a walk around and see what this place has got. Yeah, it's super busy. Shelly could barely find a place to park her bike here in the parking lot. 
So let's go check out the, the sculpture garden. All right, so essentially you park here, watch out for the guard dog on premises, Ooh. and uh, follow the path around and check stuff out. I don't know, maybe it's me, but uh, it looks like twisted up pieces of metal. So they're open from 11 to 4. That looks like a butt. I think that is a butt. So there's a naked lady. There's a naked lady. There's a propane tank. So twisted metal and butts. Because there's a butt. You go over there. No, so it's I'm still gonna film it's, you. It's still dive bombing you. Here it comes. <laughs> The sparrows are chasing after Shelly K. No, you walk over there. I'm going to film you because there's a sign. There's a sign that says what? Yeah, go read the sign. Be aware, swooping mama bird protecting this. Please close the inside door behind you. Oh, there are babies over there too. Whoa. See, they're swooping you. Yeah, I'm not going to bother your babies. They're over there with their mouths wide open, thinking I'm going to feed them. It's coming Chuck, after you. I wouldn't suggest you coming here after your last event with oh, the swooping birds. Oh. Uh, I know you guys can hear that. I don't know if you can see it or not, but she's like buzzing my head. And if you go across the little bridge, there's more over here. There's like a whole line of naked girls. Yeah, when you first get in, you think it's just that part of that yard, but... No, like, it, what happened there? I don't know, that first one. Here's a cool one. That's the best looking picture I've seen all day. Look at that. All right, what are you gonna do? Well, it's called the Venus Bell. I think this is brass. Yep, so Ready? swing it back. Oh, that's really cool. So next stop on our tour is Inscri Inscription Rock Petroglyphics, managed by the Ohio Department of Natural Resources. Let's go check this out. Looks like they put a nice roof over top of it. So here on the board, it kind of gives you a little bit of a description of what this is all about. Three or four hundred years ago, prehistoric Indians carved all this stuff on here. See where they kind of did a detail of what it used to look like. Yeah, in 1850, uh, United States Army Captain Seth Eastman did a drawing of it at the time, and so then this was made of that drawing. So okay. At the time when he drew it, you could actually see what it is but now it's fairly worn people are throwing chains and lighters and bottle caps and such out on it check out this joint it's a private home three stories with a big old belfry up there or whatever it's called at the top this place is huge how many grandbabies can you fit in there? A lot. I wonder how many bedrooms it has. A lot. All right, guys, the next stop. We are at the historical marker for the Island House. So let's go check out this little park. So this cool little memorial here in the middle of town is dedicated to the memory of the young men and women of this community who by their patriotism and loyalty served God and country in the wars of our nation. And they list the Civil War that they were 67, the Spanish War they had six, World War I, 52, World War II, 123. So that's a pretty cool little memorial. 
another day of waiting on a woman. Shelly Kay's inside the uh, the store here trying on some new clothes. So it's her uh, her shopping time. So I'm gonna sit on a bench out here in the sprinkles and wait. Do that walk of shame. What'd you do? I left my phone in the changing room. That was still there. Yep. Thank goodness. Ready to walk back up to the campground or ride back up to the campground? Check on dogs. Three. All right, guys, so next stop is the Glacier Grooves here by the campground. Let's go check this thing out and see what it's all about. Where the golf cart comes from. That's good, good. All right. Okay, and so 2.6 million years ago, cycles of warm to cold change in climate caused several glaciers to move from Canada through Ohio, and that's what pushed through and, and turned the rivers really into lakes. It made these big carvings. And so this um, national landmark is actually the world's largest uh, national glacier groups. So bad, I'm sorry guys, I tried. I just wanted to just kind of sum it up instead of read it all to you, but that, that's about it. Okay, yeah, and they said that the grooves, you can tell the direction that the uh, the, gl the glaciers were moving. Wow. I'll tell you, this is going to be another one of those videos that really just don't show perspective to how deep and groovy these things are. Did you know that's how um, oh, the falls... Niagara Falls? Niagara Falls. That's how it was created too. Was from the same glaciers really? that moved through from Canada. Didn't know that. And here's another tidbit. The company, the quarry company, this was their land and they sectioned this off to preserve it so that it would stay. And they didn't allow this section to be quarried when they were um getting the mining. lime yeah mining for the lime or whatever it's called and then the state ended up buying it or the country no well yeah the state then the state bought it from them okay this is interesting so they explain um how they quarried the lime uh back before they had machine drills and explosives <clears throat> they used they drilled holes with chisels filled it with pieces of wood and then dry wood and then they would pour water down the holes and that would cause the wood to expand and crack the rock and break it from the wall hmm. interesting. interesting and did you get this over here like yeah this is all like land that had been all the lime stripped out of it Hey guys, make sure you come back next week so we can show you the rest of what Kelly's Island has to offer along with a review of the Kelly's Island State Park Campground.